People in Brown Deer spending this Sunday trying to come to grips with the tragedy. Three people were killed and one person hurt in a shooting police say is tied to domestic violence. Jessica Maduker explains why some believe this could have been prevented. I heard bang, bang, bang. Then a few minutes later, I heard bang, bang, bang. I said, oh, no, that's gunshot. That was the sound Elizabeth and her granddaughter woke up to Saturday morning at their home. An active shooter was just a building away. Police say a 26-year-old suspect opened fire, killing three, injuring one, and then eventually turning the gun on himself. Family of the suspect confirmed his name was Larvell Huddleston. I had seen the man before. You know, he talked to me in the garage. He tried to help me with my car one day. And the young lady and her baby. Elizabeth saw that young lady lying on the ground from her window during the shootout. Family confirmed with TMJ4 that the 23-year-old victim was Ariana Reed. They say she was the ex-girlfriend and also shared a son with him. That child was unharmed and is now in the care of her family. She was the life of the family. Anytime we came together, we always looked for my little sister to keep the joy going on around us. Along with Ariana, two others were killed, but one survivor was shot in the leg. He wasn't ready to come on camera as he's still recovering, both mentally and physically. He says he was trying to help. He heard the gunfire out outside his apartment and noticed a woman was shot. As he stepped outside, he witnessed two others nearby trying to render aid, and it was at that moment the suspect opened fire on them. Police behind his car hollering, put down your gun, put down your gun. Shattered glass in a car window with a bullet hole still remain. Pictures from residents show walls inside marked with bullet holes. Police have yet to identify the two other victims as well as what could have led up to this horrific tragedy. The department is expected to release more information on Monday. For now, reporting in Brown Deer, Jessica Maduker, TMJ4 News.